Now that I have my two images in one document, um, take a look over here in the Layers panel. And it's important to note that there are now two layers besides the background. So each time that I would drag and drop an image into a new document, it will make its own independent layer, which is actually a good thing for editing and placement. Um, so I am going to be, the first thing I want to do is actually rename these. Um, right now they're called layer one, layer two. I want to double click on the word itself and call the bottom one Ritz. And layer two, I will change to say goldfish. Ignore my dog. She will bark from time to time. She's protecting me from these goldfish right now. And um, I want you to really get in the habit of renaming your layers as you bring them in because I've seen people with documents that say layer 100 and people are clicking them off and on going, what layer is that? So just getting in the habit of naming layers is really helpful. It will actually save you time in the long run. So now I'm going to get the move tool, which is the top tool in the, in the toolbox and come over here to the goldfish and place them. And, and notice as I'm moving them, if you look in the icon of the layers panel, you'll see it moving. So I'm going to place them where I want them to be. And now I'm going to go to the Ritz crackers and move those. And oh, do you see this? Do you see what's happening? I clicked on the cracker right there, but it's moving the goldfish instead. What's up with that? Well, notice that up here in my layers panel, I've highlighted goldfish in blue. That's like activating a window. And so anything that I do will only affect that layer. Now, if I go and click on the Ritz and highlight that in blue, then when I click on these crackers, these will move. And if I go on the goldfish, these will move. Now this is how you used to always have to do things back in the day, back in my day. Um, but there's a new thing about the move tool that is actually pretty helpful. Remember I said that every time you click on a tool, the options bar will change according to the tool. And within the move tool, there's a pretty important one right here called auto select. When you click on that, and by the way, there is a choice between group or layer. Right now we want to just deal with layers. But once I click auto select, what will happen then is when I click on the goldfish, I can move the goldfish and keep your eye on the layers panel icon over here. When I click on the Ritz, it automatically changes. And then the goldfish, and then the Ritz, then the Ritz, goldfish, Ritz, goldfish, Ritz. Okay, so you see what's happening? Um, this is pretty convenient because then whatever you click on, you'll automatically highlight that layer. Even if you're not trying to move it, you just click on it and then you can adjust it or change it. Now, there are certain times where this doesn't help and you actually want to be able to go in and manually select a layer. And so that's why you have to know that you can actually come up here and turn that auto select off when you want to. Right now, I'll turn it back on. Okay, so now I'm going to place my layers using auto select, which is very convenient. And that's it. In the next video, I'm going to cover how to make a new canvas.